Get it off the magnet, get it off the beat bag, pick it up. Huh. I'm commanding shoulder up and I'm getting shoulder down. Where is that? Uh oh. Uh oh. the best grip, but... Let me get this uh, monster out of the way here. I don't know if it's just me, but it's it always feels a little unnerving when the <laughs> robot arm has <laughs> a knife. A weapon. <laughs> it's now a weapon I use. Just the, the littlest knife, this massive robot. <laughs> uh, Reminds me of Futurama. If you want, you can do a... Stab him! Hand off to this guy, but... Go in, cut the thing? Yeah, it will probably be easier if you cut... Uh, I wouldn't advise this on deck, but cut towards you, so I don't know if you got a grab to do that. It'll be safer for the stuff in there. I would say I'm going to have to get closer. They just float. Witness the sharpness. The Green River Dive Knife. Best ROV knife ever. <laughs> so that all looks okay to you? That looks good, yeah. So now you can see the center bridle, but and then it's ratchet strap holding it to the... Um, yeah, right. and we want to we wanna cut that. Yeah, we can cut that too. And that is, the whole mess is not going to, you know, float away. No, in theory. <laughs> <laughs> in theory. In theory. Carry the one, and uh, hopefully it worked out. Can you... Uh, so, blue or white line? What's orange. Orange. Oh, orange. Strap. Bridal. Strap. Um, yeah, don't cut anything No lines. That. Let me... Uh, That's why I asked the questions. T if you tuck <laughs> your manip in, I'll get a little closer. No lines, no cables. No lines, no cables. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> okay, uh, you're tucked in a little more. Well, I'm not going to smack the knife. Yeah, you can. Um, that was part of a previous pull pin rig. Yes, so you can see. You don't, this line here is what will release the float, so we don't want to cut that one. Roger. I'm feeling like I want to open that gate first, but uh, you can try and see if you can get in there above the yellow. Wait, let me get this a little closer. See where it says O N C. Yeah. Cut there. <laughs> it's on. Right between the O and the N, but <laughs> maybe <laughs> above the O, just so you're away from the rest of the stuff there. There you go. I don't remember which side is the cutting side here. Uh, up is the cutting side, so that's good. You might not have the grip you need though. Yeah. I think you want to get under it and cut up. You can. That's right. I think that's what the move is. Right. You're going to have to pitch way up. Yeah. 
Or rotate, yeah. Rotate will do it. You can cut a little higher if you want. Give yourself a little more room. Maybe a little higher, Jake. I can't see yep. if the knife's in the grate. It'll, it'll snap it. Sideways on the blade. Um, hold what you got there. Holding. Zoom in for us, Jacob. I'll do that. I think you got to roll your wrist to the right a little bit. You see the blade flexing stop, that means you're going to break it. Roll, uh, roll to the right a little more. That looks good. Right, zoom wide. Pulling wide. Oh. Does that look like 14 pounds? The hardest part actually is getting it back on the magnet, so. Um. <laughs> no. Easy. Hold on, let me come down and give you a. Oh, somehow I got a good grip on it now. Yeah, you do. <laughs> somehow. That's a hard grip to get it back on the magnet, though. Perfect. Ah, just rotate your arm in. It'll be fine. I'm going to back up a little bit. Hold on, I'll put the magnet down so it's easier to get on it. Yeah, it should be, a, I'm going to rack back too. I am rack back. That should be a good angle to get it on there now. With the current grip you have. Rotate. Did we release the floats? The floats are gone. And then, yeah, lay it against oh. there a little. You see the okay. blade deflect a little bit. Cannot see it. Looks like we lost them. That should do it. I think we're Beautiful. in shape still. It's supposed to be very light. It's just not very well balanced. Yeah, if you can reach, Jake, you can uh, open the gate there. Open the gate. Yeah, so the sensor can't fall off because it is lo locked in place. I think we're fine. Pardon? Oh, 
one yet, but. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> You're doing nothing. Yeah, definitely. Well, we'll see what we can do. Sure doesn't look like it's heavy in water, though. Can you reach or you want me to move? <laughs> you guys oh, move? Oh, oh. If you tuck in, I'll uh, move to the left a little. Tuck the arm right in, in case I go crazy here. So, I think a thing Bradley's um, lock design. Yeah, it's really, really slick actually, because everything in there is really well protected, and uh, everything's locked in place, so nothing can move. Sensors can't fall off. Pretty good situation. Has opened the green. Um. Okay, so this is ways about what do we say? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just floating there. Yeah. I don't know if the bridle is a good a good call. It maybe looks like it's almost easy just to grab it by the fiberglass. <coughs> if it doesn't weigh anything. Looks like that. What is that wand thing that was holding it down earlier? Looks like it. It's like. The Gladius? The Gladius is clipped on that thing, and it almost looks like that's the only thing holding it down. I think it's, yeah, I think we've just got the perfect amount of weight on there for it not to float. But I don't, I don't know if it's caught. The other one looks like it will come three if we pull it this way. So the next step of the dive would be to transport this to the other Maris location. And uh, we just have to find a place on here that we can grab, whether it's that rope on the float or anything. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab the uh, rope right below the float. Yeah, I think that's, a, all right with that's that. a good spot, yep. <coughs> oh, that was exciting. That was an edge of your seat cut there. Yeah. <laughs> A bit of more of a result than anticipated. I can't. That's not necessary. Don't Can you um, no, this is okay. put your Actually, arm out in a similar me. situation uh -huh. as the uh, magnum there? Because the weight's not on a beaner, is it? The weight's not on a beaner. It's just which one? I'm going to try and fly into the left rope and you're. Well, that's in the tool uh, bag. It's come out no, it's, it's on a. Maybe grab the right. I think rope it's just on a. Miss horribly. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is a lighter one. Yeah. I don't know. I think I think this will work fine. It's really light. Nothing can really get hurt. I think it'll be okay. Unless, Dan, how do you feel about the ROV ballast for this? Is it also too light? I think we're good. Okay. Um, yeah. So now I think we're fine. Actually, you can back away just a little, Jake. Let me get and uh, put your finger on the jaw close button for me on the magnum. Uh, freeze fail. Oh. Freeze fail. That's close. 
anywhere out there is fine, I think. Up where we can There's see them. it. This is actually going to make it potentially easier to deal with on the far side to get those gladius. And to position it in the right spot. Uh, I think it's going to make it easier. Yeah, if we have the floats, uh, if we're, you know, choking them up here, then we can move them around and uh, stick the gladiuses in. I'm assuming that's going to be the first thing we do. What was that last bit? Uh, never mind. Let me get a hold of it first. Okay. Or elbow either yeah, one. It's not elbowing up, so. Really? Nope, it's not moving. It's stuck there. Great. Six function manipulator. <laughs> T Rex arm. Elbows, elbows overrated. that angle up the dangle. Very elegant, but uh, you want to grab the other uh, rope now if you can. Freeze it. Yeah. Ooh, that was pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> How far do we have to bring this? Uh, oh, hundred over a hundred meters. Ooh. Birthday balloons. You don't need to see, right? <laughs> uh, the, we, uh, have, we have instruments. That's what sonar is for. Still camera gives you a, a really good view. If you, if you want to pull that up, it sees beyond all the floats. Yeah. Sonar. Um. Okay, so are we going to follow these cables up to the north then? So the we go back to the IP. Yep. And then there's a. Um, uh, oily heading towards the west. Okay. And that's the one we want to follow, and it's going to eventually turn towards the north. And about 100 meters along that line, there's <coughs> the other platform. 
Uh, Jacob, do you know how to put uh, still cam on PC2? I can certainly take a shot. I'll do it. Uh, that was on a yes or no question. But that, you know how to do it, don't you? Yes, anyway. I think so. Uh, so hit, I'm like hit the yellow button. Page, page six on my six. This guy here. I, I did. Oh, yeah. Sorry, hit it again, then go to page two. Or no, PC to video two. Click that. Then, uh, I think it's page three, still count. Six on my, yeah. This one? That's it. Oh, yeah, that's a great view. <laughs> Just can't see the bottom anymore. You can't see nothing. I'll come back down. Um, view. That would be nice to see. Uh, oh, there we go. That's pretty good, too. Auto something there apparently did not. Can we lift this whole thing up a little bit or no? Yeah, that's what we're working on now. Okay. Um, if you go up and to the right a little bit, uh, away from the vehicle and out and up. See if I can see down in there with some fubly. Not really. I can see enough to land it. Good. Question is, is it blocking Yeah, that blue cable will take us. It's not the fastest way to the IP, but. I'll just fly the nav screen. Where do I need to go? I need to follow a cable to it. Got to go to the IP, but. Why do I have to go there? It's here. I thought we were going like 100 meters north. Yeah, so first the IP, then there's a cable we fall on. Unless you want to go straight there, but you have to drop into a canyon, so it's kind of hard. Roger. So from the um, west side, there's a cable. From the west side, there should be a couple cables heading north. Yeah. And we follow them, and then the first one that goes, the first one that crosses towards the, okay, okay. Just, so the the oily, the striped oily, isn't it? Yeah. So one is it's like looks like a green and white. So not that. That's a red and white. So towards the right, coming out the, uh, going towards the north. I think you're heading south. -ish. Well, headed west. Yeah. So I think that you can see the oily kind of on by the furthest right of your screen, the furthest one. Roger kind of in that direction, and then we'll meet up with the right oily to follow after that. <laughs> Roger. So I think that one you're seeing there is green and white, and then eventually one will cross it that's heading towards the left side of the monitor, and that's the one we want to follow. Roger. We'll follow that one under the minute there. 
Yeah, it's where kind of for towards, right yeah, the one with across. the white tape all over it. Roger. There should be a cable sooner or later that crosses it. Yes, there we go. Up, up ahead, there'll be one crossing it towards the left, and we'll take that one. Roger that. And when I get the ship moving towards the uh, waypoint, yep. or towards the somewhere north. Bridge nav. Can we have three zero meters north, please? Thank you. So, Dan, and just as you're following this cable, just be aware that um, there is going to be a tower towards your towards your right. Yeah, um, we should stay to the west of everything, right? The west of Grotto, and hit North Tower, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, North Tower, that's the one. Yeah, so we'll keep Atlanta off. So the, if we move it due north, we should be clear of Grotto. We'll keep an eye on the sonar there. Uh, can you see her in the gloom there? Yeah, you can. Our, uh, we have a target on here where we're going? I think it's way up here. One of these? Yeah, it's that first one. The first block. Chain one. Chain one. Is there an old red snail trail that goes there? No. But that is... It's oh. this one here. I don't call it chain one, but I think that is the one we're looking for. Okay. Where is it on your nav screen there? North. Here. Yeah, that's north. it. That's okay. The one. Yeah, so it essentially be north up here. Careful with these buoys not to smack your sonar or your jewelry in the bumper bars, which that's why I grabbed them up where I did. Because, you know, her has a route. Bridge nav. Can we have another three zero meters north, please? Thank you.
Dan, how's the ROV for ballast? Is it heavy? No, it's actually light. If I let go of it, it floats up. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we were light there even with the album weight. Trouble on the right, trouble on the left. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble on the right is a little steeper than the trouble on the left, but it's both trouble. Mm. Yeah, this is, I think, North Tower on your right here. Oh, yeah. Have a look as we go by. Or not. So when we get there, we're going to have to disconnect the old one. So maybe we'll have a quick look at the old one to see if we have to place this off to the side or in the right position from the start, whichever is easier for the ROV. Right. Bubble on the left. What is this thing I'm this carrying? The one way. we're coming up to? No, the thing I'm carrying besides this floaty thing. It's a kind of it's two things. It's kind of like a jumper box for this whole string of seismometers connected to this cable. Oh it wraps wow. around the whole area, and it's also got a seismometer in it itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think there's three of them. I can confirm, but they're all jumped together. One, two, three, in a long string that surrounds like the whole grotto field. And this is the first one. And since it's down, it's knocked out the other two. So we're hoping that if we can plug this one in, it can bring the others back up. Oh, that would be nice. Is, it? is this my victim here I see in the distance? That is your victim, yeah. It's got all kinds of goodies. It's got some ballast. It's got some whatever. Mm -hmm. but you can kind of see which way the connectors need to face to reach the cables. And before when we scouted, I don't know, we came from the other side, but we kind of determined that back here would be a good spot, but if there's a better spot, any spot is really fine. In between those sandbags? Yeah, but it's also pretty steep, so okay. wherever we can find a decent spot, <laughs> put this down. It's in there. It's so steep. The problem is we have to hook these floats to the other yeah. platform, so that's the real. Oh, yeah. It has to be close enough for that, which is very cool. Right, right up against it. The, the plan, was, plan was to grab onto the platform, I think. i do that. Platform's too heavy, is it? To yeah, the other one is the without the floats. The other one weighs um, 165 pounds without the floats on it. Oh, yeah. And your floats are 110 pounds of buoyancy.
but we can reposition after we've removed the other one, we can always reposition this one. That's going to be challenging. I'm going to slide the Zeus out here so I can get a better look through the jewelry here on the front. These two floats are also independent, so we could move one at a time if we pick up ballast, if that might be easier. They're not tied together. So it's our intention to uh, do the floats first? Yeah, the floats need to be transferred, yeah. Or we can place it down and do the unmating, but if we get the floats transferred, then that's pretty easy. Well, at least one of them, because... Yeah, this one's going to stand vertically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it vertical. We could, Puts it up two meters in the column. Depending on, we might be here for a while. Yeah. Well, I guess, yeah. Maybe we uh, stick it down by the bags there and put pin it with a bag or something? I don't know. Can you come here? Yeah, I've got a question for you, Jim. Can I see uh, on this side of it? Kind of, sort of. Let's see what it looks like from... I'm all right to have Atalanta right above us, Lynette, if you're, I'm not sure what you're doing over there. Atalanta's going to wind up above us somewhere. That's fine. Makes it easy that way, right? I'm just going to come look from a different angle of the dangle here. Do I got enough? I yeah, take all that. the time you need. This is gonna the setup here is gonna be important. Is that a hole behind it or Yeah, that's that hole. That's where you initially thought dropping it into in that kind of hole, but I don't know. Nothing's flat. No. It's hard to tell from seven meters away, so I'm going to get a little closer here. It should be deeper here. They really picked the only good spot last time. Mm. The only three rack, uh, flat rocks yeah. are taken. <laughs> yeah, the only flat rocks. Well, they probably also picked a spot they could land, so they probably, you know, obviously set the ROV down in front yeah. of it there. That's the other thing to consider. Or can we sit down and work? So we have. As far in terms of connections, we can either I think the dive plan's got swap the connectors from one frame to the other, but I think that's going to be pretty pretty difficult. So we can also dummy plug them. Yeah, I like the dive plan though. All right, if you <laughs> we can if we can figure it out, I'm just wrapping my head around this one. Yeah, so I'm thinking if I come down and have the connectors like facing each other, so I come around this way. And lay it down right towards the other one. Yeah. And then maybe I can perch on that rock and we can reach, but... <laughs> yeah. 
even maybe at a at a 90 and we have like a little workstation with some to your left some to your forward yeah whichever i'm gonna uh, play around with the magnet here a little so, I don't know. so fabio why would those worms be grown there is that must be a vent there or what yeah if they're growing there there's uh sulfide there's some venting in that area yep. diffuse probably very diffuse venting that's why they grow very skinny they are the same species as the the thick ones but they grow on the very high flow yeah You want to chase your arm out there a little too? Uh huh. Let me just come up a bit here. We'll find it later. Uh -huh. You uh, put your foot. Yeah, you want to come down with your foot a little. I don't want to get it up in the bumper bar there. Let's see how that looks. Stick the magnum out a little more, so maybe uh, wrist down and elbow up, something like that. Get the two lines hanging parallel to each other. Steve is saying when they placed it originally, that was the only rock for the seismometer. It's like a long tripod that comes off of this they only could find the one rock that would let the seismometer touch with all three of its legs so he says that's a really good spot for that you want to uh, get the magnum tip the magnum gel closer to the craft gel and out away from the vehicle further so I'm gonna land it and tilt it towards us My ground plan. Yeah, I got plenty of room out there, so. Uh, maybe a little more, Jake. What do we got over here? Put yeah. your shoulder down. Yeah. Elbow up. Yeah. Or shoulder down, wrist pitch up. Okay. So that rope's not quite a, an acute angle there. She's saying go right here. Yeah, I want it uh, parallel with the front of the porch. But yep. Uh-uh. <clears throat> 
So we're dangled in a way where I can, in theory, land it and then kind of back up and it should be flat. But the problem with that is I'll be on top of the other one if I do it that way. But maybe it's slow enough to do that or do we need to go lower the whole mess? Yeah, I don't know. I think we need to go lower with the whole mess. Lower as in? Yeah, lower below the vehicle. So. Okay, yeah. Um, I'll do uh, shoulder if you shoulder do. Shoulder down. If you do my nip. And yep. I'll come right a little here. Come all the way down. Yeah. Something like that. Maybe I'll come uh, wrist down just a little. Just a little. Let's see if that gives us enough. Before I land it, I'm just going to back up and see how high above the other one we are. Yep. I want to come down on the other one. Right there. <laughs> yeah, Fawn still a couple meters up. This one's bigger. <laughs> so, can we fly with this one with only one of the floats attached? Um, would be nervous about doing that because the other float will. I can't control it. No, no. Yeah. Smack me. I'm going to try and set it down here and see how it looks. That's a hundred pounds of buoyancy. That's a lot. It's <laughs> a uh, happy place. Okay. <laughs> Let go. Let go with both arms. So gonna stay there. Let go with the uh, magnum. Come on, 
stay for us, baby. Oh. <laughs> I kind of moved it a little from where I wanted it, but. That's how it's supposed to look, right? No, At this stage of the game, yeah. We're going to have to get a <laughs> bean bag and pin it. Let's do that. So we're going to, I'm going to turn it back the way it was and then try and lay it over towards the other one. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Okay. All right, we'll, go, we'll go get a bean bag and pin it. Approaching, sitting right there, saying, "Grab me." Can you come down uh, eight What's meters? It? It's coming down eight meters. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> That is the place to ask the question, Fabio. That is the right place for that question. Let me see what I can do about I know Malanai is the one that uh, receives them. <laughs> can you reach that big bag from here? Lifting it up because you'll jam me down. So yep. typically we want to let the ROV lift it. Good grab. <coughs> Those okay. other two bead bags, can, they look gone. You can uh, lift it up a bit more. Back where your arm was. In the bear hug mode. Tuck the uh, magnum in just a bit for us. There, what Maris stands for? I'm not sure. Maris? I'm not. You'll have to tuck your bean bag in. I don't know if it stands little. for something or if it's a. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I wondered that as well. It's Jeb versus Steve right now for figuring it out first. Jeb sure. versus Steve. No, well, no. I'm sure Steve Jeb and you. Steve. It's always a collaboration. Mm, we're going to need two arms for this, so. It's a la <laughs> bring the, uh, the name of shoulder Latin. up on the magnum. The name of Latin origin meaning of the sea. Sea seismometer. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Shoulders not moving. Seismometer. There it goes. Do those solenoid valves just get like stuck or something? Yeah. Yeah, not an acronym, maybe?
was in charge of that. Okay, I'm gonna hand that bean bag to the Magnum, but don't put the uh, PVC in there. Put it, put the PVC above the jaw. Okay. That way, when I open it, it'll drop. Good there. Sure. Might drop. Okay. Um, so what's the plan here? Push it over? The plan is to get it back this way. <laughs> oh, God. Lay it, pin it with the craft, and then drop the beanbag on it. Okay. Um, I think I need to get a little closer and see how close am I to these floats here. Hmm. Uh, it's probably as close as I can get without yeah. That'll be attempt one. Attempt two will be to get Western with it and Gladius the other one. Yeah, that's the next step. After. <laughs> if this doesn't work, I think just muscle it over and s transfer the weight. Yeah, that would be pretty ugly. Drag your instrument around in the rocks. Yeah, that would be. Um. Let's try and grab the... Right above the pull pin there. Actually, yeah, I don't know if you're close enough. on the black tape right there. And then uh, roll the wrist a little bit. Yeah. Bring the float down, but the instrument up. Okay, that's probably enough. Now, can you bring the bottom of the instrument towards the ROV a little? Without dragging in on the rocks, of course. I can't see. Well, yeah, don't worry about the minute. Just, uh, it's okay. Just gonna get right close and friendly with the vehicle. Now, if you can flop it over a bit, that would be outstanding. Best case scenario, I don't know if you can. Yeah. So if you move real slow, it's all right if the float touches us, as long as you're moving okay. slow and not jerking slow, around. Slow, slow, slow. Uh, Okay, 
now come down and pin it in the rocks and see if she'll flop over it. Swing your uh, yaw out to the right a little. Okay, hold what you got there. Hold it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Is 30 pounds going to sink it? That's the question. See if I can get the bean bag on it now, and then it should lay down. What button do I want? I want this button. Twenty paces to the outhouse by Willie Make It. I think we can get there. Do you? Yeah. Shoulder down, elbow up. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're totally there. So we need a bear claw for this thing. Maybe Do two functions at once, like wouldn't that be sweet? Nice bow of confidence. <coughs> it stayed. Should the predator come down a bit so it Hold on, let me let me get this mess out of there. comes to shove, uh, let go, <laughs> but don't yet, I think we're good. Does it tip over? Or you can try and tip it over a little more. I don't know if we got enough weight there. Need another bean bag. Just going. Yeah, baby. That's what we wanted. Can you uh, help it down? Okay, now just stay there. Stay, Simba, stay. Maybe help it down a bit more, Jake. And then, uh, I really get that moment holding it. Unfortunately, it's not supported on the back. Then when you <coughs> don't let the boot, let the float yep. take the load and then let go of it so it doesn't rock it up. I have to put our other bean bag on it. Um... Don't you have one in the bio box, or then you're way too light? Yeah. Oh. Not enough weight. 
I don't know. Just one another beat bag might not do it. Yeah, if we can get it to hold there, then we can get one Gladius in on the other platform. Yeah, but exactly. I'm not sure I want to do that yet because, you know, if we're not in the right place, we've got a big mess. Yeah. I think we need another beanbag. All right. Back to the hunt. Yeah. Shove it under that lock. Oh. Yeah. The sensor, um, the one you remove, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> we'll do our best. I think before it was pointing. Uh, yeah, we'll do our best. I, I think a, a real slow way of doing this, if this bead bag doesn't work, is just to kind of move it then uh, disconnect the cables, clear the cables, fly it over there, transfer the load, plug this one in late. It's going to be much slower, but I think it will work. It'll just take long. Yeah, we want to have it uh, secure before we start playing on those floats. I think we were close there. We had it in a nice spot. Yeah, th throw another one on there and see. Oh, that is a perfect circle. Right there. What's that? No idea. Oh. Something. I'm uh -huh. just going to do a uh, way up high enough here. I'll come up a bit and do a little tether management here. tether halfway through this. You know, everything tied in knots. Can you hit one on bubble point? The bee bag might have fallen off this time. Or we can put a place it back. Might as well get both of them. Well, I'm surprised how far down they can reach. The Orion seemed to stop way before this. I 
to touch the corner of the right one. No. Okay, come out of it. Let's see if I can get lower. Now you can get both of them. Yeah. Two for one, Jake. Or you can grab one and put it on the porch and then grab the other one. Derek, sorry if I missed it. Did we get a good look at how the old seismic sensor goes back onto the old platform? Like uh, lashes to it, or is there? I don't bunches? think there was anything. Nice and slow when we'll you come up. We'll have to look again, but oh, okay. I didn't see anything the first time. Might, might just topple off. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. Well, look, it's a three for. If you can get that rock, that oh. would also be good. Oh. Is there two there or two three there? Oh. Uh, why don't you hand that one to the Magnum again? Right here. Same, same as last time. Let me rest up a bit first. You can just grab it by the corner that's sticking out. Right. Pillow grab. Maybe the top corner. Keep your jaw horizontal if you can. it back in a little.
think that'll do. Okay. okay. Try, try again. Ready? We have a little question that came in that I feel like I could attempt answering. The question is, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to hear the answer to that. I have no idea. <laughs> so we just picked up bean bags. Um, <laughs> and we're going to use those hacky sack. <laughs> hacky sack that have PVC pipes on yeah. them. <laughs> Not quite bean bags. Or That's technically bean. bead bags, I think, for glass beads, but it's fine. <laughs> Am I honest, Bill? Oh, sorry. Why do I feel like Josh sent that question in? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> So right now you can see the ROV making way towards these platforms, these green seismometer platforms. There is an old one and there's a new one. So we're going to replace the old one with the new one. So the new one is currently attached to two of these floaties that you will see soon. And we actually need to like weigh down the new one and then take the buoys off and then put the buoys on the old one so that it can float up. However, there are oilies, correct me if I'm wrong, connected to the old one that we have to put onto the new one before we do any big swapping. It's buoy? Buoy. Buoy? It's a glass float. 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 Uh, Yellow. Yellow. Big. Slightly over ballasted new platform will attempt to reballast. Yeah, it's tough because the new one is so much lighter than the old one. The old one really needs the tube, but the new one doesn't really need it. Mm. Okay, Jake. Same game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can just go straight oh. over this time or slide it around in the rocks after we. I'd rather have it laying down so we're not dragging yeah. the instrument all over. Don't want to pick up the other bag and just set it on top so when you push it over, it's got the weight on it. I don't think it'll stay because it's like upside down. Thought about it though. I think it's hooked, it'll stay. It's hooked on that bolt, it's totally going to stay. <laughs> I think it's going to hold it down where it is right now. Can you, uh,. Yeah, if you can go out and away and flop it over without moving the vehicle, that would be fabulous. That one's going to stay. It's caught on that bolt. I can feel it. Oh, I just need some weight on the other end. Everything's on this one side. If you straighten out your pitch now, it'll go over. Okay, hold that. Holding. It's going to be a reach for mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least we can get it on there. Huh? In theory, ballast anywhere should do us what we need, right? In theory. In theory. Oh, don't do this to me. Oh, boy. 
closed. Okay. okay. Slowly let go of your buoy again. Slowly, slowly. Sorry, your float. That was got me on buoys now. Dun 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 dun. Oh, let's stay. Nice. Oh, you see there, love it. Another victim here on the front porch. Uh-huh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's rather stubborn. <coughs> Let's try uh pinning it over with that bag. Good. Seventy five pounds now we'll have on it. Kinda sorta. Of. Rotation per uh, float. Why not? Problem is still all on the one side. So the one side is very light. So we've got 110 pounds pulling on the one side. Yeah. All the weight on the other and side. And all the weight on the other. So it's not hard for it to tilt. Um, I have an idea. Might be crazy. What is it? Can you set that bag and get both through the handles there? I I don't know. Try that. See if it stays. With the seven? Or with what handles? Try and lay it over there, Dick. See if it stays. Okay, hold that. Oh no, we're leaking. Uh oh. Looks like it's caught on that bolt. Losing ballast. Losing ballast. All right. So, um, this doesn't bring seem your, good. Bring your pitch back to the right some. Yeah, that's good. Okay, hold that. Hold it. to do Let that go soon. with that bag. So we'll see if this sinks it or not. Okay. 
he grabbed that steel plate and pull up. Uh, okay, I don't know if this, I think we might have to move on with a different plan because it's 110 pounds pulling on that one side and all these beef the bags combined, it's just 75. Slid it up on the top there. I w what's that? Oh wait, oh, let me just uh, Can't hear you. pull your arm out of there. I'm the stubborn. It's a lot of chatter. Yeah. I <laughs> can't hear anything. Quick wash into video, two seconds. <clears throat> It'll be a crazy idea to put one of those. Can you on. um just flop that bag over a little bit? The this one? The bottom one, yeah. I agree, Dirk. I think we're going to have to pull one of the floats. We'll just move the one bag up and then uh, think about moving the float. Careful of the connector. Bubble camera is your friend. See if you can push it down a little and get it off the magnum. I think I'm open. Is that good one? Okay, it holds a promising. There. You're saying the math, this is not going to pin it? No, not necessarily. It's just. I don't know. I feel like we're time limited because it's an hourglass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it loses beats. <laughs> it's essentially a stopwatch that started on this idea. But we're <coughs> even if this does sink, so if we sink this, is the plan to then take the float on the right and stick it in? 
That's kind of the general plan. Just you know, get some control of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, don't. I think if this doesn't sink, it we have to just try it anyways to try and lean that float over. Yeah. Um, very close to getting really western with it. I can release this one and pin the pin the one you got. No, just let me get out of here because you got control of it, right? Yep. If we can, um, if we uh, hold it here, can we take that gladius on the right, this one, and stick it in there with this thing in this position, and then we can transfer this one float off while it's down already, because we can kind of hold it down with the magnet right now. Yeah, let me get off the bag and then I'll give me my attention here. Hey Dirk, uh, yeah. Martin Heisman and I are reviewing the rigging of the original Maris platform and it looks like the sensor was just set on the grating with its feet sticking through the yeah. holes and it wasn't lashed down. So I guess if we're throwing floats on the new, the old one, they'll need to be somewhat centered. Yeah, we, we will <laughs> reposition, definitely won't do this again. <laughs> and uh, there is a cinch strap when we go drop this off back at the tool basket, maybe we can pick up a cinch strap. Drop. And then we can use a cinch strap to strap the instrument down. We'll see how it sits. Sure. How about that? I think what's in the basket, it's not as much of a concern, but if we fly and it falls off, you know, that's the only thing. Yeah. We'll yeah. see how it how it balances out. Yeah, sounds good. So uh, I agree, I'm gonna try and pin it here with the magnum and then see we'll see uh, what happens if we can get that Gladius into the other one from here. Just careful of the connectors on that side, so don't. And there's the connector on this side, so anywhere in here is safe for pinning. Roger that. Careful of everything. No, no. You can be you <laughs> in here. You can do it. You can you can pin there. Yeah, that's where I'm going for it. <laughs> we haven't knocked a dust cap off yet, so we're doing all right. All right. Yeah. I just jinx myself there. And for this, and we're sitting nice and proud, it kind of looks like we're over top of the platform, but we're not actually touching it. And, and the sensor on this instrument is very well protected. And it's a titanium bottle, right? I can't break it. Yeah, ideally, if you can get onto the clamp, but the titanium shouldn't be a problem yeah, if you I, miss the clamp. I, I can uh, probably get on the clamp, whether it stays there or not. Is, yeah. You know, who knows? Machinist in me is screaming. What's that? The machinist in me is screaming, don't push it on the titanium. Oh, come on, it's titanium, you can't break it. No, but you can put a nasty gouge in it. Look what we did with our brand new cameras. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. I'm trying to concentrate. Eh. Hey. What button? See, I get lost in the button menagerie. There's also this. A f steel frame there that we can maybe grab if that's no, but this should be okay. Okay, I'm lifting the ROV up now. <coughs> Full way to hook on it. So slowly, slowly, Jake. Lift up a little. We might want to pile that other bean bag. Like I don't. I think it's gonna fall off there. Think so. Yeah, slowly lift up. See what happens. Don't let go of the beanbag. Nope, nope, nope. Back down. Yeah. Okay. I need to do a better pin job. This this is steel frame up top here. Is grabbable. What's that? There's a steel frame as part of this parking station. I don't know if you can get in behind those blue cables. Yeah, yeah I could, but. Then when it floats up, will be a mess. Yeah, it's a mess. Okay. Could you send the push out and just put it over the bottle? Could also be a mess when it comes up. So yeah. I have to consider what happens when it, you know, floats up again violently. <laughs> My uh, biggest concern is the floats coming up and getting fouled in the bumper bar. 
Well, one of the many concerns we have. No, That's a solid concern at the top of the yeah. concern list, I'd say. I'd say so, too. <laughs> Renny, what other concerns would you have? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just walking in, so <laughs> I'll let you guys handle the concern list. <laughs> Renny's shaking his head like, what are these fools doing? <laughs> oh, we are, we are having more fun than you could possibly have. Yeah. Dirk has been amazingly patient back there. Yeah, yeah. Coolin was here or whatever. If you're watching, Ian, <laughs> got any suggestions? <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> uh, so I'm going for the... I can't get there from here. My shoulder all the way down. There we go. Okay, slowly up, Jake. Because your bag, it's not going to stay there, is it? Probably not. As soon as you start moving that float. Maybe you pile it right on top of the magnum. I don't know, is it going to stay there? The, the float's holding it in now, yeah. so as soon as you start moving the float, it's gone. It's kind of a funny game. You lift it up, but then the RV has more, more buoyancy. Yeah, more if you kind of slowly drag it up and over, slowly, slowly. These things are uh, versatile. Say we got them piled up there now. <laughs> All right. All right. Few. Oh, look, we have control of it. All you got to do is get that Adius over to that. Thing. <laughs> Finally wrestled this thing. Um, let me. If you lift your arm up a bit, can we even get there from here? I hope so. Can I just need to use bubble cam. Cannot see. Slurp. There's no way. Suction. Yeah, I can't see enough to be comfortable doing that. I'm going to have to change the ROV heading a little. While holding the thing down. <coughs> um, what if you changed your camera to the other, to the box cam? Or is it facing too far down? A box cam. The starboard uh, camera. Mm, yeah. That's a thought. Might you might a, see it. Might be a hint. Eh, uh, what button is that? This one? Nope. Nope. It was worth a shot. I think if I just can uh, change my head to the right a little. Why don't you back your arm out a little more and we'll see what happens. Might have to, you know, tip the whole thing over again. Maybe put your hand on the gladius rope first. Mm -hmm. While you're stable, you can have it in your hand. That would take the weight off the platform, or the, the buoyancy off the platform, and the buoyancy would be in the ROVs. ROV. And you're not trying to catch it when it's all... Like, just roll it up a bit? Stand by here. We can go there from here. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. Yep. Martin, if you're watching, don't worry, we're not sitting on the, we're sitting on a rock behind it. We're not sitting on the instrument. So the idea is to stab that other plate with the gladius, is it? Yes. Anywhere through any of the grating, if it can reach. 
That's not in the way of making connectors. Okay, Jake, really slow. Really Chris. slowly. We're obviously right, right. balanced on a marble here. <laughs> it, there's nothing underneath of it, though. Is it the best way to go top it down with this? Anywhere in there. Do you think maybe uh, closer to the center to keep it balanced? No, just be, pardon, what's that, Jeff? Oh, I'm just thinking maybe closer to the center to keep it balanced, or because uh, that. Yeah, I would stab as close to the bottle as we can. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Good suggestion, Chad. Yeah, uh, Martin also pointed out there's a couple cutouts in the grating that we could probably nuzzle the sensor into if it weren't sitting up on a rock like that. Yeah, we'll get it out of there. Okay, hold on. Right on. Slow. Slow and steady. You got a good grip on it? Yep. If, if it doesn't okay, sit yeah. well, nice Jeff, we have... Um, Cinch straps in the like painfully slow in the tool basket that we can bring back here before transport. Yeah, that sounds good. And strap it in properly. Sure. We'll see how it goes. Sorry, I'll stop moving the camera. Three print and tap. Uh, we want to go close, like almost touching the bottle with the gladius, if you can. Better. back to the right a little so I got room for the other one. Being picky now. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a great spot. My camera to zoom in for you? No. I want to watch the float and the whole other mess. All right. Also that should be good, yeah. Also off very, very slowly. Oh. <laughs> Too late for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't sound slow. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh. Obviously, I don't think we can get there with the other one, but we can pull the pin. We can pull the pin to make our lives a little easier, but then it might change things. I don't know. Let me think about this. I think pull the pin's probably good. It's probably safe. Yeah, there's a couple of hoses connected to it, right? It won't go far. Pardon? I just said there's a couple oily hoses oh, going to no, it. That's new. The old one is much heavier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, do you need to move a bag before you pull the pin, or is the <coughs> weight going to be all right? Well, if we pull the pin on the right one, yeah. that one shouldn't float up anymore, so then we can do yeah. all that stuff yeah. and leave that float on there. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's not really floating this one right now. Agreed. So we're going to pull the pin. That's what we're yeah. on about. I think that's, that's consensus. Okay. Can you see the pin? Yes, uh, right there. Yeah, if you get out close, then we can uh, zoom. Say when. What? Okay. Can push in video. Okay, hold on, do I want to look at something else? What do I want to look at? Carnage. <laughs> that ball's going to float up and away. Should be all right out there. Okay, okay go for it. I'm going to grab it here. Looks like it. A little green nub there to get. This is going to be such a relief when this thing's off of here. Let me come wide before you pull it all the way. Yeah, yep. Yeah, good idea. You just really want to see it, hey, Ed? Yeah, we want to see what happens. Kind of folder this can go in. Commencing pin pull. Commence pin pull. Oh. Ah. Oh. Fail. Oh, oh <laughs> another one. It's <laughs> very anti climax. Uh, you might have to <laughs> bob it. Do a little notch. Do you want to save this pin? Seal with this. Oh. I'd move the arm away from that glass float there. There we go. There it goes. And it'll go. Um, 
see that's what the Student tape kind of holds it in a little more. Just leave it for now. Mm -hmm. um, throw the pin on the porch. No, I know. It's um, it's because we put the tape on there, and the tape holds it. It holds the knots in. So you almost always, after you've taped it, have to flick it with the wrist. But that's the best way to get like ropes tight, just by having that little bit of tape. They can just like bump it. Play some b-ball. Yeah, bump the float is what you want to do. Yeah, however, whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah, just bump yeah. it from underneath. Okay, let's do it in a controlled fashion. Grab the black tape. Yeah. Right by the bungee. I don't know if you want to zoom. Uh, closer to the, closer to the float. Yeah, maybe tapping these floats isn't the best. I don't know. Yeah, grab right there. Slowly, slowly pull to the right. Beautiful. Okay, you can let it up easy. That'd be great. Right, that's floating. Yep. And it stays. That's encouraging. try and lift a magnum up and see what happens. <laughs> In theory, the math <laughs> works this time. Unless, you know, physics has changed. Well, we'll see. Uh, Hollow beads in these bags. <laughs> Unless it all drained out. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hollowed be thy bag. <laughs> close, yeah. Hey. Oh, well. Nope. Nope. I lost the float. Now we aren't even, we aren't even close. But it That's a thinker, huh? Grab the other gladius. If you can reach. Just one second. Okay. One I'm gonna question. If we put this Gladius in that same spot, should we put a bead bag on the old frame first <laughs> in case that womp can womp us up? That was, well, that was my question. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll do it in a controlled. Okay. Otherwise, yeah. we've got <laughs> collecting bead time, bags right. all over again. and then bring it to the right so he can just grab it. Yeah, okay. Right, right now sense. we can. That would have been not good. We all know if we transfer the float and that one goes <laughs> over and everything goes flying off. And <laughs> Cables in included. The seismometer, we have to go get it in the hole on the back.
try to grab it from here. Yeah, can you get it from there? I don't know if I brought you that much closer. Much closer. Right under the bubble. Closer? I can. Uh. Float's gonna turn for you. Is that a drywall anchor? Basically. That um, works. Uh, that might work. Yeah, those are toggle bolts. Yeah. Really slow, dude. So close. Can I come back up a little? You don't have to go quite so far with this one. Any hole will do now. Okay, come off it. Hold, hold oh, what you got, oh, hold what you oh, got. Oh, oh. This all stop there. All stop. Don't move. Easy, easy, see if we can get out of there. Maybe bring the home and out towards the vehicle. Well, that's a good arm mark. Freeze fail. Worst time. Always the worst time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, you can bring the shoulder towards the vehicle, or the elbow towards the vehicle, away from the connector. And then just 
just up on the elbow maybe, get out the backside, but I can't quite see. You're out. Nice. Good arm work slams it right into the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crush, smear across everything. <laughs> okay, yeah. The whole site's destroyed. <laughs> Is your arm all the way up there? So I'm going to try and... Uh, rotate the vehicle around a little. Bring it up. <laughs> I think it was just manipulator versus parking frame. Hope so. All right. Um, we were considering transferring a bag. I think so. I, I'm worried otherwise we won't have to. Yeah. All right. Pick it's a bag. Dump its cargo otherwise because that sensor in the back is just sitting on it. Said bag is thinking between TBD. the connectors, maybe. All right. There, well, just careful with your arm in there before you go in there. Okay. There is a connector coming out right underneath. Yeah, you can so pick it up by the top. Yeah, pick it up by the just top. Just nice there. and slow. Make sure the uh, you can just pinch it. <laughs> maybe up on the top by the seam. That would be less likely to tear it. Like straight down like this. Till you want to start cutting them up with a knife, and then these things are yeah. destructible. Right. Depends on how you stab them. Too. And when you come up, come up nice and slow. Make sure you don't get caught on the connector. Remember that stuck on the bolt too. What we found with Pelagic was left arm knife up, and then you take the seven to just drag the bags across the knife in different directions, and it cuts it up right, pretty fast. Okay. Gonna have to tuck in real close to the vehicle mm -hmm. and pitch up to get in there, I think, without getting into the floats. So you're thinking between the floats? I think between so, the yeah. connectors? Think, yeah, that'll yeah. probably give us our best, most out of the way yet best kind of Nice and slow, but hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing coming around.